Hello my divine kings and queens. I am back to do another video. In today's message, what we're going to be talking about is God is trying to tell you something in your life right now. Um, God is definitely speaking to you in this period, in the season, about the people that you have around you, the people that you trusted, people that you left behind. Um, these are separate groupings, but like I say, all in all, these are people who have been in your energy, currently in your energy, right? And one thing about it, um, what God is trying to make sure that you do is he's going to protect you. He's going to get you through it. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. We have to learn. Um, the time is now to listen. And it's because he's trying to do something big for your life. And there are people who are fighting you. And you don't realize how these people can be collaborating and grouped up together behind your back and who knows who, who's reaching out to who, who's requesting what. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in this time, what you have to do is fight through and persevere. I know that there's something that you're seeing right now that has been clear and evident that you're under attack right but let me tell you something if finances are being attacked if, if your love life is being attacked if your uh personal life whatever is in your life is being attacked let me tell you god is clearing it out and god has plans for you it does not matter who goes up against you as long as you're walking with god what i tell you you can never lose but you have to be able to sit and listen. God is talking to you about who's related to who, about who's behind the scenes doing what. Now, God, like I say, when he steps through and he intervenes, he shuts things down. He canceled out of the plans of the enemy. But at the same time, you can't be an enemy to yourself by allowing yourself to continuously be around these people or trust these people or go back to these people. Do you understand me? You don't understand how big your purpose is and why people would do the things that they're doing to get to you, to take something from you, to live off of you, okay? But that is the world that we live in. And when you understand, when you know better, you do better, right? When you know better, you do better. So don't beat yourself up. And at the end of the day, um, definitely he has plans for you, okay? But a lot of people are going to realize a, val a valuable lesson about going up against you as well. Because some people are doing it because they just feel like they, that they can. And if you, allow, if you allow them, that's exactly what will happen. Sit back and listen. See, the devil is a lie. No, I'm not going to die. It's okay to cry, but he's by your side. You got to stop that hating. I know you don't want to hear it, but you got to fast and pray and listen to the spirit. Because God's trying to tell you something. You lost your job. Your bills are due. And all the people you held didn't want to help you. See, we so freely gave ourselves to people thinking like it was a given. It was just a, it was just, a, you know, it was just a given that people would give back to us the same way that we given to them. But no, you had to fall down and really uh, be left in dire straits for you to understand that you don't do that. You do not deplete yourself trying to be there for other people and they have not shown you that they are willing to be there for you. Everything has to be a balance. I keep telling you that. Everything has to be a balance. No matter who it is, what purpose they serve in your life, when did they come in your life, how long they stay in your life, everything has to be balanced. You tried your way. It didn't work, no. You put him second and you put you first. You trusted friends, thought they had your back. And every time you turn around, it seems you're under attack. Yeah. <laughs> you trusted friends, thought they had your back. But every time you turn around, it seems you're under attack, yeah. But hold on. Pray. No, the devil is a lie. Pray. No, I'm not going to die. It's okay to cry, but he's by your side. To all your haters, got to stop that hating. And back to you. I know you don't want to hear it, but you got to fast and pray and listen to the spirit. Because God's trying to tell you something. 
what he's trying to tell you. You can't so freely call everybody your friend. People will gravitate towards you because of who you are, because of your energy, because of your aura. They'll be obsessive. It's magnetic. Do you understand me? Because you feel, you feel people's spirit. You don't deplete them. You, you're always, see, the type of person that you are, you are a magnetic person because of the energy that you possess, right? You don't carry that energy that depletes and drain a person. You don't carry that type of energy that brings drama and chaos into somebody's life. You don't bring that type of, you don't have that type of energy that's out here trying to manipulate and snake and lie. You don't carry that type of energy that's out here, you know what I'm saying? Selfish. But what it say? You lost your job. Your bills are due. And all the people you helped didn't want to help you. And then at the end of the day, now you left to try to figure out what your next move going to be. But see, when God tells you something, you, you have to listen to him so that he can make sure that your next move is your best move. How can he do that if you're not listening regarding these friends, regarding what you're doing, regarding who you, who, who you have around you, what you're telling of course he has plans to still get you through it. But plug in that hole right now that you've created and allowing people to just come in and out, take, drain, in and out, take, drain, attack, in and out, take, drain, attack. Hold on. Listen to the spirit. God's trying to tell you something. So listen, pay attention because it's regarding who you had. So you already overcame it, but he wants you on guard. So stay on guard who you currently have around you. He's getting you through it. You will overcome. I'm sorry you're going through this. It takes us going through some things for us to realize, but my God, please wrap up these lessons this year. So that next year can be just a full year and onward of peace and happiness and stability. Amen. Amen. Listen to the spirit. God's trying to tell you something. And until next time, hold your head up high. Never let nobody see you sweat. You already know if you need a friend, you got it in need. If you need love, you got it in need. If you need inspiration, motivation, life example, you already know you got it in need. I'm your friend. I'm your sister. I come with that real, never that fake. I keep it 100 with you. I keep it a buck with you. Okay? Continue to reach one, teach one, bring others to the JC gang. We ride together. We slide together. JC gang for life. We don't know what our next move going to be. We make mistakes, but you know what? We got to learn from it. It's like, what you going to do? At the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. You got to gotta shake it off. Take a couple days, get back, shake it off. Go through some things. Go, go in isolation a couple months or two a year, however long. Get out. You know what I'm saying? It's all, all about perseverance. Persevering through fake friends, fake relationships, situationships. That's just how people are. They routed. They go that. It's, they, they routed. That's, they are who they are. So be who you are. Recognize who they are. Protect yourself. God's trying to tell you something. Miss me with all that mess. With all that extra outside noise and distraction. Gotta fast and pray and listen to the spirit. God's trying to tell you something. So listen. You okay? Oh, this confirmation you okay. Okay? You hear? You okay. In the future, you're going to be okay. Just listen. So you can avoid some things, okay? So you don't have to feel some things. So you don't have to hit it so hard. All right? Till next time, y'all stay prayed up and be blessed. I love you. This is a copy of my brand new children's book, The Miraculous Busy Billy. And this story details where a bee named Billy um, is pretty much faced with a lot of criticism in his hive. Um, this is my dedication here to my grandmother and also to all the young uh, kids out there that are going through similar situations that Billy has gone through and pretty much um, He has been able to develop and maintain a strong Spiritual connection with the Most High which he has joked and mocked for um, But it's by way of this connection when the beaver hive is in trouble It's Billy who has to step in to save the day um, And he does that by like I said asking the angels to forgive everyone in his beef in his beehive 
Um, and he also brings others to spirituality as, as well to pray just as he's done. So I feel this is a great book that will encourage and inspire children to continue to be in their most authentic selves and being faithful and obedient to the Most High when faced with adversity. This is a great and positive read for your children, um, a great way to introduce spirituality to him to them. So make sure you go ahead and check out my book. It's available on Amazon for purchase via my website and my YouTube. Thank you, and I hope you and your kids enjoy. Be blessed. My book Steps Towards Reinventing Yourself is available now on Amazon. Check link below in description box and community board.